Well, it's the middle of February, and uh, we're probably going to be setting a record warmth today, close to 60. Uh, I've had my Snowtech 28-inch snowblower for about 15 months now, and uh, I decided it's time to do a little bit of a review of it. Uh, this winter has been very mild. I've only used it, uh, mild as far as snowfall. Uh, I've only used the snow blower maybe four times or so. I'm very pleased with my Snowtech 28 inch snowblower. Uh, I've only had one other snowblower prior to this. It was a single stage 24 inch one speed. Uh, and it would not handle wet heavy snow at all. Uh, I decided to buy the Snowtech after I saw a lot of YouTube videos uh, showing how far uh, the snow tech would throw snow and the fact that it would go through uh, very wet snow. The primary reason that the uh, snow tech will throw wet heavy snow and slush is because of the gap between the impeller 
between the impeller and the impeller tunnel. Uh, on the snow tech it's less or right around a quarter of an inch. Most other snow blowers it's three eighths a uh, half inch or greater and uh, that is what prevents uh, many other snow blowers from throwing wet heavy snow. The snow does it goes past the impeller and is not thrown out with enough force. So the close uh, clearance on the impeller and the tunnel uh, make this a really good snow blower for wet slushy snow or wet heavy snow. The snow blower starts all the time. I've never had trouble with it. From day one, the thing has started with one pull. You start off by uh, turning the choke to full choke. Uh, prime, press the primer button five times. Make sure your ignition switch is on, which is right here and of course you have to ensure that the fuel valve is turned on. It does have a fuel shut off on it. Uh, the only time I had trouble starting it was when uh, the hose from the primer bulb to the carburetor uh, was rotted uh, and then I used the electric start but every other time it starts with one pull. I'm a small weak old man and I don't have a lot of strength but I can start this thing with one pull almost every single time. Now in addition to the uh, pull, pull start it also has an electric start. You plug an extension cord in and press the little button right here and it will start uh, with 110 volt. Uh, I, the only time I've really used that was when that primer bulb was broken and initially when I first got it just to try it and make sure it worked. Back before winter hit in November I came out and uh, decided I would start the snow blower to make sure I wasn't going to have any problems with it. Uh, when I attempted to start it, the primer bulb would not work. Uh, it just had no resistance. You could tell it wasn't pushing gas. Uh, as a result, uh, I investigated a little bit and the little uh, rubber line that goes from the uh, primer bulb to the carburetor was all dry rotted. It had a whole bunch of small little dry rot cracks in it. So I had to replace the uh, hose between the primer bulb and the carburetor. In order to do that I had to remove the cover on the muffler and then this cover here uh, and it wasn't too much of a hassle but it kind of disappointed me that, that that hose dry rotted after just sitting one season. The only other problem that I have had with the snow tech is the scraper blade at the bottom of the chute that runs on the bottom of the chute. My driveway is nice and smooth However, I also do my neighbor's driveway, which is asphalt, and it has a couple of humps in it. The scraper, the original scraper blade is only one-eighth of an inch thick and very obviously extremely soft steel. You can see here the big gouge that uh, my neighbor's driveway wore into the scraper blade. As a result of... Uh, the scraper blade going all to hell. I did uh, make a new scraper blade. I made it out of one quarter inch steel and uh, I put a 45 degree chamfer 
on the front edge of it and uh, hopefully next year it will hold up much better. Uh, I usually run the scraper blade right on the driveway to try to get up any packed down tire tracks from cars that have been in the driveway before I had a chance to, to uh, blow the snow. I know you're supposed to keep that leading edge up a little bit from the actual pavement, but I don't. I like it right on the driveway. And like I say, that's part of that scraper blade problem is probably mostly my fault for running it right on the driveway. If you've looked at Snowtech uh, machines, I'm sure you're well aware they do have uh, five speeds. Uh, forward and uh, the, the last one of the five really is too fast to blow snow that's more if you just headed back to your garage or whatever uh, it does have two speeds in reverse so in essence you have well actually it's six speeds you've got five speeds that you would plow or blow snow with and then one speed kind of traveling. This control uh, raises and lowers the chute uh, tip. Uh, if the snow is not real light or if it's not really windy, I generally leave it all the way up and blow the snow as far as I can. However, depending on the wind conditions, sometimes I have to tip it down so that the snow just doesn't blow back in my face. The crank handle here, uh, that controls the pivot. Uh, so you don't need to stop snow blowing and go up front and uh, turn the chute by hand. You can do everything right from uh, your standard position. The handle, the grip on the right side controls the auger and you pull it down to engage the auger. If you re it'll automatically spring up. The handle on the left controls the drive wheels. Same thing, it will spring up as soon as you let go of it. One of the nice things about this is that if you depress both of them at the same time they will lock together and only uh, you'll only have to hold down one handle. As you can see here both handles are depressed and I'm only holding the one handle down. Uh, the, um, uh, you can hold either one of them down and it will lock the other one down. If I release the handle, they both will pop up. Uh, that's kind of a neat feature. One of the things I do wish it was available on the Snowtex is heated grips, but they don't offer them. That goes back to the fact that uh, the engine does not have a generator. The drive wheels can be set up so that only one wheel drives or both wheels drive. You uh, set that by moving this pin here. There's two positions for the pin. Depending on the position you put the pin in determines whether or not uh, the wheel will drive. Right now you can see that uh, this pin actually goes through the hub of the wheel so the, the right hand wheel is driving and I have the left wheel where the pin is not going through the hub itself and uh, this wheel just kind of free wheels. Generally speaking uh, it's much easier to turn if you only have one wheel driving uh, with both wheels driving, it you do have to muscle it around a little bit more to turn. Uh, there's only been a couple of occasions when I've actually had to have both wheels locked to blow snow. 
Uh, one of the other problems with the snow tackler, if you want to call it a problem, is it does not have a light or lights on it. Uh, the engine does not have a generator, it has a stator. So you can't just put regular 12 volt lights on it. What I did is I went to uh, Harbor Freight and I got a couple of uh, handlebar bicycle lights that have four LEDs each. Uh, I mounted those on the uprights uh, towards the back just below the shroud there you can see and I can tilt those up and down or pivot them on the bar in or inward or outward. They've worked pretty well. They don't light things up too bright but if it's dark out it at least gives you some light. As I've said before, I'm very pleased with the Snowtech 28 inch. Uh, dollar for dollar, I don't think it can be beat. Uh, there are some snow blowers out there that are less expensive, but uh, if you do look at video reviews, you'll see that most of them don't work as well as the Snowtech. Would I buy one again? I'd buy one in a heartbeat. This is one of the best snow blowers out there in my opinion. It's uh, well worth the money. So if you're on the fence and thinking about one, I wouldn't hesitate. They are a great machine. Thank you very much for watching my video and uh, I, hope you, I hope that I helped you out a little bit in making a decision or learning a little bit more about the Snowtech 28 inch. Have a good day.